What's up guys, I'm back and today I'm going to talk about ceremony sound systems and cocktail hour sound systems that I use and how I got rid of this. Not too long ago, I didn't have an option for a wireless power setup for my ceremonies or cocktail hours. I had to bring ex extra extension cords uh, and take extra time to set up. In some instances, it was 75 feet over this way and the power outlet was over that way. You got problems with people stepping over it. And to be honest with you, it took a lot of extra time and effort just to pack up that extra gear, set it up, um, and lug it around. So it was kind of a pain um, to really do this. So one of the things that I always look for is efficiencies and compactness. And so now I'm gonna show you a couple things that really help me out and that I utilize for my wireless power setups at ceremonies and cocktail hours. This is the first piece. This is the Bose S1 Pro. This is all battery powered. You can charge it up and last about six hours or so, um, according to the specs. It's about 100 watts, but it sounds like it's more than 100 watts. It's got a great crisp sound out of it as well, big, great bass response. This is very, very great, it has a handle on top. There are two main inputs, one and two that have reverb, bass, treble, EQs on there, as well as the main volume, which is over on this side, that's for both of those. And then a third input, which is auxiliary, or you can utilize Bluetooth, which has just volume only. Um, this takes a standard power cable to charge it up. Um, and then you got your on and off button. This is speaker mountable, so as you can see here on the bottom, this is where you put your speaker. And down here is where the battery is, which you can change out in case it goes bad over time. So this thing's really awesome, um, compact and I highly recommend it. I use it for both ceremonies as well as cocktail hour. The next piece of equipment is powering up my wireless mic microphone receiver. If you don't already have some of the, the battery powered receivers like the Sennheiser, um, you can easily get a battery pack off of Amazon that looks like this, I think for about like 30, 40 bucks. Um, tells you how much is charged uh, left on there. It's got a power on and off button. And you can pinch if you need to do a USB hookup to charge your phone. Um, you can do that as well. But as you can see, this is hooked up into my receiver and it powers it up. This will last, uh, you know, three, four hours. So you're good to go. Um, at least I've never had any problems with it yet. So um, always check with your specifications on your units as well as this. Make sure it's compatible. It's compatible with mine, which is fantastic. Um, I'll have a link in the video below so you can take a, uh, take a look at the specs of the unit itself and decide if it's right for you. The third piece that I always recommend to have, it has nothing to do with power but more so convenience, um, is this A2000's audio uh, shelf that you can put onto your speaker stand. Um, great for putting your laptop on or if you get two of them you can put your laptop on the top one and get another one below and put your microphone receiver. Um, so I'll have a link to this one as well. And I'll show a picture here in shortly of what my whole setup looked like right before I started the ceremony. Well, that's it, guys. Pretty straightforward. Um, this setup works for me. It may not work for you, but at least I've shown you a couple things that works um, for 99% of the situations that I'm in. Uh, one other thing about this, the Bose S1 speaker um, is that right after you're done with this, the ceremony, you can actually take that, walk that to the cocktail hour, um, place that with like a, an iPod or uh, some wireless Bluetooth uh, player and play directly through there. So again, no power required with the Bose S1 Pro. Um, you've got your battery pack right here, which will power up your microphone system and you're good to go. So hope this works for you guys and have a great day.